Welcome. Welcome back. Wow, it has been it has been a long time. Wow. Can I just start to Oh, wow. I'm just going to I'm just going to Wow. Mm. Yes. Today is just going to check December the 17th. Ladies and gents, and I haven't casted a game in two and a half months. You're probably wondering why. I haven't been very active. I haven't been doing live streams at all. I haven't been doing pre-recorded streams um, or any any of that good good stuff I like doing. Um, as you can see, this is a new place. It's pretty awesome, huh? This is actually the basement of my new house. Um, so yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I got a house. Wow. Yes, that YouTube money. No, no, it's not. It's not actually. No, it's no. It's not actually a basement. Um, I just pretend it is. Um, but yeah. So um. Wow. Um, Dota two coming out. That is really something, eh? I'm just gonna check. Uh, really fast. Nope, oh, nothing is wrong with my microphone right now. Wow, Dota 2 is up. Wow, Dota 2 is up. So yeah, that is, uh, of course, the huge news. I'm just going to show you, yes. That is what it's all about. Dota 2 from Valve. Um, of course, beta is open for, I think it has been open for a, m a million years now. Or it feels so. I still have my beta key, of course. Um, used it already. Can't play the game because my computer is um, just waiting for the new parts to get in so I can build it. Uh, and uh, upgraded. It. It's glorious. Trust me. The CPU is off the charts. Um, but yeah, that's what it's all about. Dota 2, man. Um, I couldn't get Evan on the cast. I'm just gonna send him a bit of a, a bit of a. I don't know. I'm just gonna send him something. Um, what do we have more? We have more. Um, mm. Well, because of the transition into Dota 2, I wasn't sure if you guys wanted to see me cast some Dota 1 again because all the new hosts are like, yeah, let's, let's do the Dota 2 thing. I'm like, okay, I can't, but it's it's cool if you do it. So, um, yeah, I think I've done enough talk already. And my subscriber base has actually, it has grown, but over the, the night I just saw because I check every morning because I'm that um, insane. I check every morning and I saw that two subscribers were actually unsubscribed. So I was like, what the hell? Um, but that was, that's, that's, that's okay. Um, a lot of tournaments have been going on. Uh, SFS, sorry, SMM, as well as Defense, as well as don't think I can remember anymore. But there has been a lot. Or oh, the Rokad Gosu Cup, of course, has all has also uh, been on my mind. I did watch some of the live streams. Uh, a lot of streamers coming out uh, because of Dota 2, um, and that is great. Um, so yeah. But uh, enough talk. Enough talk. And we are going to head into the game. Now, this is the game between Mufk and our dear EXE. I don't think you can see that. I haven't s actually... Um, I haven't actually seen this game. But uh, let's hope it's a good one. I am going to scroll just a bit fast um, through the pick and ban phase. Just because I've done so much talking already. It's not even funny anymore. Um, so, yeah... Uh, what what more? Do we have any more stuff to add? Do I have any more stuff to add? I haven't gotten any sleep um, because my exams. I'm done right now. I'm, I have two days left, then it's vacation. And of course, you're all going to spend Christmas with your families. I am too. Um, so yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be wicked. Just doing this cast to let you know I'm alive. And um, hopefully we'll be casting a lot more. Because this hunk of junk can't really process any more data um, <coughs> so that's fantastic and if you're not the only one with with some illness uh, then uh, raise your hand I can't see you on the cast but raise your hand we do see A and eventually getting picked up by EXE now EXE you know is of course um, if you uh, don't know them they are uh, uh, only German team uh, uh, versus Muff uh, which is of course um, Leona Muff but EXE was back in the day one of the high division um, German teams. If you know Hex, or of course I guess you do. He's one of those ballers creating all those fancy videos on YouTube. Um, so you could go check him out. 
afterwards. But I mean, he is a he's quite a boss. He hasn't he, he's kind of dick as well. But I mean, he's he's cool. Um, Chen getting picked up as well for Muff, so on. <coughs> <coughs> And also all these roster changes now, um, SK as well as uh, as MTW, uh, w, sorry, uh, getting uh, getting sponsorships, which is which is great because the old MYM doesn't exist anymore. I mean, we don't have any Danish MYM players now. Uh, we have EG and Problem, but I mean that's not the same. Um, so yeah, all those cool changes, SK Gaming. Uh, it, it is kind of weird though that. We don't have any Danish sponsorships, but we can get Swedish as well as a German uh, sponsorship. So that's that's kind of uncool. Um, MTW is known for their extremely extremely powerful, uh, or was at least uh, CS uh, was it CS or was it CSS roster? I don't know, but they were like on top, and they were Danish as well. So it's kind of taking on a legacy that they kind of have to fulfill. Uh, Windrunner as well as Rexar and Earthshaker for EXE. Of course, Rex are can solo mid as was well Winner can solo lane, and Chen I think is gonna go jungle. I can't really imagine um, anything else. Uh, could go lane roaming. Um, so yeah, Lycan getting banned as well as Shadow Demon. Now Shadow Demon is gonna tell us that. Well, we don't really we don't really want um, somebody with illusions. I think they could be going for an anti mage, um, just because of that right there. Uh, I don't know if a Lycan can out carry an anti mage, but I mean. It's again a matter of who grows the fattest and who can farm the most and who could do the most damage in the team fight and have the the best team uh, support. So yeah, um, Urshaker getting picked up. I, th I think I already said that, but yeah. Um, do we s you see Slaughter as well? I mean, it's a lot of carry heroes, um, Lycan as well as Brood as well as uh, as well as uh, the uh, as the bear. I was gonna say the bear, but the Salamander getting picked up as well. Slaughter. OD and now we have Night Stalk, which is kind of a roaming semi carry thing, just running around and raping them. M five was would tell you that it's a carry, but I disagree though. I disagree. Uh he's like he's like a clockwork running around just raping people. Which is i I'm fantastic. I mean I love Night Stalker having it on on my team. And Puck now getting the last ban from uh from our dear EXE. Um <coughs> Wow. As you can hear in my voice, it's um it's not looking too fantastic. I don't know if my microphone is uh it's messing up. We have I had to have a few problems with the new exploit, uh Life Beta Six, which is uh which is not which is not going too well with my uh, Vista <laughs> and and computer. So yeah. I am running Vista. We do see now oh there we go, the anti major are actually getting picked up here. So that's gonna be the carry for the uh don't know if they're gonna pick up a, a, a carry again or a semi carry. I mean they have Rex as well as the support runner. Or, um, but I don't know. They could they could pick up a carry. It's pretty much uh, it's pretty much up to uh, up to EXE to make something happen right now. They need to counter this anti mage, but it's kind of hard when you do have the shadow demon already banned. It is a pretty uh, substantial counter to the anti mage because you do the you, you can create the illusions um, and it's gonna mana burn him uh, and pretty much destroying his farm at the early games at the early stage of the game. Sorry, um, shadow fiend. Wow. Don't really s recall seeing a Shadow Fiend in a hell of a long time. Uh, only in pub and uh, and some scrims, I guess. But I mean, I don't I don't recall I don't recall any uh, any Shadow Fiend whatsoever. <coughs> Lich getting picked up, so that is going to be probably a probably going to be a tri lane. Solo Windrunner and Shark is going to pick up, and that's the twice the speed. Next going to be the final pick for EXE, so they are going to try to counter it with. I don't know if that's the correct response, but they are going to try to counter it with an axe and as well as a Shadow Fiend. So that is going to be very difficult. Shadow Fiend, of course, going to be going mid. I guess uh, I don't know if Rex or, or Windrunner is going to go mid. Uh, Chen is, of course, going to be on the bot lane. Uh, does have the Ring of Bass up. Uh, Rex or is he going to go? No, he's not going to go. Um, He's not gonna go uh, start shield just straight off. We do have actually up service wards on the anti mage. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Let's not buying anything except a courier, uh, and is a bit behind. Winner is gonna go down on the solo. Do have a ch oh, okay. Rexar is gonna go mid. Uh, Chen gonna jungle it uh, together with the. Um, we're gonna go on the bot lane with together with the uh, 
Wind Runner. Don't know if Lich is gonna swing on top. I think she should, or he, sh he or she should. Um, Nax and Urshaker. Well, I guess, but I mean Lich and and Anti Mage. I mean, he doesn't have mana drain, and this guy, or sorry, yeah, uh, yeah, Diffusal Blade. I was gonna say, but he doesn't have the mana drain, and of course, Urshaker. I don't know. I don't think they can make it happen on the top lane, but let let's see. Eventually, gonna be um, probably poking and potting around, prodding around. Shadowfin is gonna have a hell of a hard time, especially if you if you think about the Chen as well as the Beastmaster. I mean, holy shit! I mean, Beastmaster or Invoker mid. That is just gonna mess up your Shadowfin completely. If of course, if he or she can can play, uh, but I mean, literally, you have the Axis as well as the ulti. Uh, just destroys a shadow fiend level six, so yeah, that is going to destroy his farm as well as his XP. Anti mage picking up a double damage. I think he is just going to try to farm it, but uh, an axe here as well. Don't know why he didn't go. I think uh, no, never mind. I'm just going to shut up. Um, <coughs> yeah, why they didn't do a trial lane top? Um, because they kind of need to. This anti mage going to be pretty, uh, pretty fat uh, against uh, only a dual lane. A versus the Winrunner, just a solo lane, pretty typical solo lane. Um. <coughs> <coughs> wow. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's like seeing a Clockwork and a Winrunner going up against each other. Um. Hexer's gonna be playing the Nax, so he's gonna he's gonna want to get some farm because uh, as said, anti mage is just as soon as you get the battle fury up, he's gonna be he's gonna be accelerating his farm so hard that you would not believe it, man. Um, Shadowfin Shadowfin al already falling just a bit uh, behind, I think 4-0. Yeah, 4-0, and he's 0 2 sorry, or or 2 not 0 2 8 2 Um. Let's gonna be prodding out here. Do you have an anti mage? Uh, I think he's doing quite. Yeah, seven one Sharky. He's in. Pre he's a pretty. He's a really strong. Um, really strong. I mean, he is gonna try to punish this. Uh, this pull. Um, Rex are really, uh, really aggressive. Uh, but he can be so. He does have the bottle up now. So. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> So he's going to be dominating that lane pretty hard. To have the Quill Beast as well as the Scout Hawk. So uh, he's going to be able to see if there are any runes up. Um, uh, yeah, it, uh, it, is a, it is a strong lane mid with that Beastmaster. Um, you can't really do anything. The Shadow Fiend can't really right now. Oh, we do see it. Ah, damn it. I think it was on the yeah, ball lane. Um, do you see Chen getting a kill? Yeah. Um, with the Satyr. And uh, that's going to be a down for the first blood. We do have a double damage here with the Vengeful. Still only level 1. Um, doesn't really want anything to happen. Beastmaster slowly pulling away from the Shadow Fiend in levels as well as, uh, as, well as farm. Um, 15 to 12. And uh, yeah, the farm, I mean, or the XP pretty much speaks for itself. You can see Beastmaster whoa, uh, half a level ahead. Um, Anti-Mage having a bit of a hard time. Um, but um, is doing fairly good uh, on the top lane. He just needs to farm and his BF, and then it's going to be pretty much GG. Uh, because I mean, splash and mana burn. What are you going to do? I mean, literally, that's insane. Uh, Chen picking up the centaur can make something happen now. I think Beastmaster. Wow, he is really taking taking the edge on this fight. We do have a uh, Vengeful coming with, with a smoke. Shadowfiend only level 4 so I don't think they can take him down as well as having boots up. Um, so he is going to pull him back. Uh, no rune right now. <coughs> <coughs> um, Scout Hawk is up. Going to be trying to see if there are any ganks. We do have the pull again. Once again um, EXE pulling. Don't really sure. Don't really know if they're uh, if they want to do this, but um, anti mage just really getting uh, not only jungle but as uh, but lane as well. Here we do have a kill, perhaps no missing on the sh power shot, and that is going to be it for Windrunner. Yeah, come <laughs> blow me is going to get a kill on the Windrunner. So uh, 
missing the power shot would have ensured the kill but uh, yeah we do have this haste on the uh, ch uh, Chen now he's gonna try to possibly sneak down kill yeah here we go is he gonna be able to I don't think so perhaps yeah there it goes no he's not he is gonna die oh wow that Chen is gonna lose so much HP I don't think Shadow Fiend is gonna uh, yeah, possibly yeah he, they, they are gonna possibly go for him he's gonna deny himself uh, because he does know that wow um, Shadow Fiend and VS are here in the mid lane, or at least the Shadow Fiend. Um, Beastmaster looking at Magic Wand. He is going to do the Bottle Crow trick, which is I fucking hate. Uh, Queen of Pain mid, and you uh, you get her on a Bottle Crow, and it's 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 impossible to kill her or uh, or actually stay on the lane because she just harasses you all the way down. Now I think Crow is going to come in just in a matter of seconds with the uh, with the ball. There it is, uh, and there we go. That's uh yeah, so that's uh that's a bald crow for you guys. That's uh, haven't really seen it used in uh in high level games, but um, apparently it it's a viable strategy. So yeah, it's something you normally only see in pubs because people are too lazy to check the runes, so they just bald crow and and get full uh, health. So yeah, um, Rex are really doing a great job. Thirty to six and twenty eight to. To two, so I think they should have been ganking, or he should be ganking the Shadow Fiend right now. Um, but I don't think he's gonna do that. Let's coming into the fray here in the mid. Um, need to pop an ult on that guy. He he is now level six, so yeah. Uh, haste rune now. That is gonna be the death of Shadow Fiend as soon as he gets that haste up. Let's gonna be hitting mid, I think, or just Beastmaster on all alone. I do have Chen here with the smoke on the creeps. He is gonna head on back. Don't know if he saw that, but he is gonna get the. Uh, yeah, he is gonna. He is gonna get the. Um, the belt of or the yeah the belt of giant strength. Chen is here. Does he does he stun? No, he does not. Second stun needs to come off. No, it does not come to me. Does get a kill on uh or blow me. He does get a kill on the. Uh, on the Windrunner and uh, mid, we do have uh, Rexar getting a kill. So yeah, that is uh, sorry, not Rexar. Um, I think it was the Chen actually. Chen on a killing spree. Yeah, they are gonna push the mid tower. No, they're not. Uh, and uh, Sharky just having a great all time now, having his ring of health up. Uh, he can just pretty much harass them, harass, 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 harass them, harass, 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 harass them. Sorry. Yeah, it wasn't a joke. No, no, of course not. No. I wasn't doing it intentionally, but yeah. Don't know what this VS has been doing this entire game, but he's just been blabbering around, not really doing anything. But Nino is actually a good player, uh, normally is. But he is going to get clusterfuck right here with the Centaurs, and we just need to see a test of faith, and that is it. That is a dominating for the Chen, and really nice Chen work here from uh, from Ling. Um, but he is going to lose a bit of health to that AA ulti. Shadow, re Shadow Fiend really needs to care if the ulti comes off. I don't think the ulti is ready for Rexar, but uh, and let's see. No, oh, not yet. Five seconds though, um, but yeah. Urshaker soloing at top. Don't know what Nax is doing, but um, he is gonna. He is gonna. Where is he? There he is. He just infested a creep. I was like, what the hell? Um, but he only has urn and boots, so he's not looking looking too good. Um, still, Anzimage farming in the woods, trying to get some farm up because he does know he is on a dual lane with slow and stun. Double damage on the Lich. That is going to be the end for the Shadow Fiend. There comes the damage from Rexar, and that's going to be it. Sharky, no, sorry, not Sharky. Um, Beastmaster getting the kill, but I th I did think, or I, I think that... Um, that Anzimage should have gotten the kill. He is level 6 now, so he's going to be doing some really serious damage when they come in the team fights. Nax in a bit of trouble, but the Fisher is going to save him. Um, Nino getting a kill on too fucking good, which is on the bot lane, which is a Windrunner. And Windrunner has really taken her toll of uh, 3 now. And um, only one assist, so uh, yeah, it's not, it's, not going, it's not going too well on that bot lane, but... Um, it, this it's this lane and this lane, or sorry, the mid and top lane, that are pretty much the decisive lanes because uh, if Rexar gets his uh, blink dagger up fast, and uh, I don't know if Antimage is going to decide to go for the Vanguard instead of the uh, Battle Fury, but um, if he does, if he does go the Vanguard, uh, if the, the faster he gets the Vanguard, the faster that he can he can 
post a threat in the team fights. I mean, already now you can see Nax is already running away, running away, losing his mana. Um, so he can't really do anything at this point. He, they do need a gank on the on the anti mage, but he's one of the most survivable or the most tanky uh, magical heroes in the game because he can take so much magical damage and then just blink away. So yeah, therefore the name anti mage. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, Vengeful trying to sneak on top. To don't really know. No ganks have been coming out for uh, only on the bot lane. I didn't catch that though. But uh, on the bot lane, she did gank um, the um, together with the AA, the winner. And a holy knight is gonna or Chen is gonna gonna swoop on mid. I think Shadowfiend does really need to care though. The uh, the observer ward can scout him if you want to. He has centaur and rage will can and a centaur. So that's double centaur lich. Not ulti yet though. Um, Rex are having ult. I think. Uh, and it's gonna pop the uh, axes just to get the kills. Does go mm, arcane boots instead of phase. So um, yeah. Also waiting for the uh, for the AA or possibly the shadow fiend. He is gonna go down now. They are gonna see him. They are gonna try to spot him. He the smoke wears off and there's an illusion. Um, so they could decide to go for that. Top meanwhile having a bit of an issue. Anti mage is gonna fall on back. I think yeah. He is against three heroes on the lane. But still, the ulti from AA, that's going to be enough. I, no, it's not. They decide not to dive him. And in the meanwhile, mid lane getting a kill. Um, victory getting kill on the Shadow Fiend. So that's uh, it's no go from um, EXE. EXE pretty much getting stomped right now. They can't really, they don't, they don't hold the map. They don't um, have, any, uh, have any ganking going on. They don't have really, I mean, farming is going quite nicely. The dive on uh, A, and that is going to be it. Too fucking good. Getting finally a revenge kill on the... Uh, on the AA and winner in level uh, nine, so it's looking it's looking very good for Muff MUFC. I'm gonna call him. Um, so yeah, getting two towers in a row, and uh, that's gonna that's that's gonna mess up the entire uh, um, game because they're now two tower. Or sorry, one tower behind. Uh, they are gonna try to push this T2 tower, but I don't think they're gonna be able to do so because we do have a TPN from the Beastmaster level 10 now, and having bought two, two charges, it was the Archie Boots. Uh, I think they are gonna go for the, uh, possibly the, uh, nope, nobody's gonna die today. There we have the uh, Zeppelin, and that's gonna be a Vitaly booster, so that is gonna be the Vanguard up for uh, Sharky. He's gonna be extremely buff and extremely hard to take down now. Um, they're just going to keep drilling, and that's the second tier, or that's the second tower on that lane. So, uh, TG Tower going down in favor of MUFC. Um, that's the cr oh, that was the uh, the crow from Rexar right there, um, Earthshaker, only level six. It has been a really tough, tough laning phase for uh, EXE. Um, but again, Muff or MUFC is a is a well recognized team. So, I mean, yeah. Um, Chen still farming uh, or still getting the centaur centaur mix, uh, not with a centaur instead of a instead of a. What, I think it was a Wilkin, yeah. Um, pretty well executed micro. And uh, I'm just uh, we do have a pause now coming up. Don't know what that's for. And it stopped. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, it is on. Um, it is on DLG. So yeah. Was played on Dotalicious client. I like that client, but uh, yeah. So um, face boot up, face boots up uh, as well as, n and not going for uh, of course the mech because we do have the chin on that already. Have one of your nice. Um, Animation needs to get needs to get the farm. He does need to get the farm as fast as possible, man. Um, but I think this is looking pretty one-sided. Seven to three. Uh, look at the creep score. Forty-five to ten. 70, 77, um, I mean, Beastmaster, as well as too fucking good, they're just, just doing it, they're just doing it, I mean, Beastmaster has been having the greatest time, that is a kill for the, uh, Scourge, too fucking good, keeps dying on that bot lane, um, don't know if they need to babysit him or what, but, uh, it's not going too well for him, here we do have the ulti on the, on the Vengeful, trying to block him, uh, do need to see some sort of, uh, some sort of follow up, and here it goes. Come on, Lich, get that kill. Uh, or the Chen. Uh, that's a mega kill for the Chen. Do have the Blink Dagger on top, but he does go down. Victory getting a kill. I uh, think they need to carry Chen in a bit of trouble. He does have the mech up, I think. Um, if it comes to that, but I don't think. I don't really think they need to. Here comes the. Uh, can they get the AA down? I don't think so, but wow, that was close. The stun from the both from both Centaurs. 
did a lot of damage. Uh, Chen's still here, and uh, we do have now. Oh, Earthshaker just just staying here back. Um, we are now back on the lane. Do is going to be going for the four staff. The ulti from A landing on top of Chen. Doesn't really matter because uh, still having ulti up and still having uh, the mech uh, as well as just the, the aura. Um, they are going to push this lane, I think. I hope so. Uh, Next, pushing mid, getting the armlet that he needs. Helm of Iron Will is up now. So I do have a TP in. Primal Royal level 2 for the Beastmaster. And Shark is just farming all that he can, but still miles behind the Beastmaster. Which isn't a bad thing, but if they switch the roles where the Beastmaster had the, what is it, 62 and the uh, Anti-Mage had the 77, two kills, uh, that would be preferable, of course, but you can't get everything. Here we do have the Lich called out, I think, yeah, but doesn't matter. All the ALT, that is going to be enough to take down Lich. Power Shot goes off. Uh, Anti-Mage is there, too fucking good, does get Nino, but he is going to go down himself, and that is going to be uh, pretty much it, he does shatter, um, and here we go, Nax in a bit of trouble, does get mana burned quite a lot, uh, as well as Shadowfin popping ults finally, but I don't think it's going to be enough, A of course just going straight for the Nax because he knows we need to take this fucker down, no, he is going to actually go, go on A, and he can take so much damage, I mean literally that's insane, he does need to blink out of there though. Uh, Chen is there. Do we have any? No, we don't have anybody. Uh, we do have the Beast Master though. With the blink dagger, he could make something happen. But no, he is gonna. He's gonna fall on back. Uh, trying to. I think they should pick up the the uh, Earthshaker in the mid lane. They're gonna try to do so. I think. Uh, Alchi is up with the Beast Master. Blinks ready. Has full has full mana. But no, he wants to get the uh, the rune here on the top lane. So. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> um. Wow, it's it's fantastic, isn't it? Me coughing. Um, Drill the Quill Beast now scouting the Earthshaker. Uh, taking a bit of damage from that poison. Um, Anti-Mage getting threads. Going for the Aggie since he does have the Vanguard now. So no point in getting the strength. Um, pretty much all he needs right now is, uh, is some damage. He has the survivability to stay in the team fight. As we just saw. Uh, and with the support of Chen. He really can't die at this point uh, until somebody gets a sick amount of damage out. Here we have the double damage, and that is going to be it for Vengeful. Nino going down, and Beastmaster just just setting up a gang for himself right there. That is beautiful, um, using the double damage to his full advantage. And I think he actually could have taken down the Shadow Fiend, but I think they would have TP'd mid and killed him. So yeah, but nonetheless, looking really, really good for Scour sorry Sentinel Scourge. Looking really bad for Scourge. Uh, one one point five k on Sharky, and he's just farming away. He has how many neutral? Oh, Eleven. Um, and uh, do you have? Yeah, he's just wow. Victory needs to needs to stay on top of this, but he's not. And Hexor trying to trying to catch up. Hexor and Sharky pretty much on the same level, but um, he can't carry this alone. Uh, especially not against the Beastmaster. That is the only ulti that goes through BKB together with Enigmas. Um, so that's pretty insane. That's a 3.5 second stun, uh, even when having BKB. So it's a great counter to BKB uh, and, and just pretty re resil res re uh, resilient heroes in general because you can disable them for that long a time or that long a duration. Um, uh, just trying to uh, make sure Nax does it. Guild a dive on the top is going to ensure the kill for uh, Windrunner. Almost having four staff, I think. Um, Want to take this tower down? Um, oh, just missing all the kills. Wow! Just show show that practice is essential for um, being aware of what's going on. So here we go. They're going to push the tower. Um, Beastmaster deciding uh, not to go for the Vanguard. Actually, a pretty pretty calm item because you can dive a lot more towers that way, and you can just stay out more. Uh, do have an infest up? There we go. Beastmaster needs to, sorry, not Beastmaster. Antimage needs to get out of there. Uh, he does so with the blink. Of course, I mean he's possibly one of those heroes. You you it's it's he can bring the damage in early levels, and he can he can he, and he can escape in early levels. I mean, no, I I don't think any other hero does that. Um. There we have a kill on Victory. He just pretty much gets raped. Um, the ulti from AA hitting Windrunner and doing actually half HP. Um, 
just a bit of a wild goose chase you're going up trying to uh, scout out their own woods just to make sure nobody's jungling um, but I can tell you nobody is jungling in your woods at least um, Beastmaster still uh, st it's almost level uh, almost level 14 and looking really sharp 13 to 7 and look at this 100 the first one to reach 100 creep kills uh, it's 20 minutes in game and Hexor is the only one close uh, sorry, Sharky is the only one close, and then uh, Hexor. So uh, EXE, the longer they postpone the game, or the longer they hold on, the the, f the harder it's going to be uh, for them. I mean, they don't have the late game phase. Um, I can't I can't see them win the late game phase. Not with the anti mage in the pool. Um, he needs to blink away. There it goes. Uh, but I can't see them win because they both have the Rexar as well as the anti mage, and the anti mage with that aura is insane. The forty percent attack speed aura that is wicked. Um, so it's it's pretty much it has been pretty one sided, I guess. It's not. It's it said it was an R and R replay. Um, so I don't understand why it's not an R and R replay. But I mean that's that's goes to gamers for you guys. Yasha, no, I'm not going for the battle. You're just going Yasha. Um, I hope he does go Manta because I mean going. S and Y, that's just really weird because you can get the clones as well as um, as well as the mana burn on all of them. So I I, I don't see why you would go um, S and Y. No, I don't. I don't. I, do, I, I, I for step up probably has been for quite some time now. I just only noticed it now. Uh, but yeah. <coughs> um, Anti mage being the boss, just farming, farming. I mean, the only thing the the Sentinel is doing right now is just farming up as, as quick as they can because they know late game we're gonna rip them and mid game we're gonna rape them and they've just been stopping the shit out of and I don't know why they they took the Shadow Fiend just to counter the uh, the anti mage because I mean Rexar counters uh counters Shadow Fiend is in such a degree that if if the other team picks a Rexar, you should just forget. You shouldn't even consider playing a Shadow Fiend. You should be considering an Invoker, but not a Shadow Fiend because a Shadow Fiend, he's just gonna get st stomped the shit out of. Uh, as you can see, one four. Not good. Not good. Especially considering you're losing all your souls. Um. So yeah, not good. No, no, don't go Shadow Fiend. Don't. Don't. Um. Wow. I just. Uh, I just had to take him. Uh. Just to take. Uh. I, I was gonna say medication, but I just. Said, oh, perfect, Beastmaster. Here we go. Necromonican now up, and that is gonna be it. Uh. I mean, Necromonican. Possibly, the key item. I mean, bottle. Necromonican and blink. That's what you need. I mean, you can go any type of boot. Besides, uh, I, th I don't think you should go boots, boots travel. But I mean, you go pretty much any type of boot you want. Uh, and then those those three items right there: blink, necromonican, and bottle. And that's pretty much all you need. Um, just to make. Uh, uh, and I, I'm I'm not even gonna because look at this. We get sick on the Chen. Actually, Chen having all the kills on the. Uh, Almost having all the kills. If we look at Chen, four to, sorry, seven to one, and um, I think they're just gonna drill mid now. Uh, try to take down the tier two or take down the tier two tower, and uh, then they're gonna push top, take down top, and that is gonna be it for. Wow, that was a really good initiation. Um, Blink Dagger now up on the Yoshik, or just I think he's just been uh, trying to scramble up some gold to get to go with that. Um, but yeah, he does have the Blink Dagger up. Which is really good. Ultimate orb now coming up on the lich. No, not on the lich. But per perhaps. No, I think it's going to be the manta. Uh, it's it's going to be the core ingredient pushing bot, getting the tier three tower. Um, I think it's going to be for the anti mage. Uh, here we have nevermore coming out now. They could decide to turn this around. No stun comes off. Um, but Nax is there as well. They are going to try to turn on back. Troll warlord is there. He can try to stuck him. There we go. Uh, they could go for the Nax if they want to, but. Um, Infesting just a teeny tiny bit, trying to keep this centaur alive. Actually, l using ulti um, just for that, and I don't think that was 
a, a really good decision, but nonetheless, he did use the ulti on the um, on the creep. So yeah, Beastmaster Necromonica level two now, and uh, if uh, if we do see Shadowfiend deciding to go for stealth, it doesn't even matter because um, Necromonica should pretty much disable that with the level three, being able to uh, see people and stealth, and uh, just destroy the uh, Shadowfiend even more. Um, uh, Beastmaster now needs his scepter. I think he is going to go for that, or he could just go, he could go Kuros or something to support his team. Um, <coughs> Sharky, getting a, getting Manta. Um, I think he needs to drop some of his. Yeah, there we go. Um, finally getting Manta. They are going to push mid. Uh, axes on top. All the creeps. We do have. What is this? Oh, just checking Roche to see if they are any down there. But I don't think they... I think they could have done Roche, even with that ulti and even with them knowing. Um, because, I mean, Antimage is just getting even more and more... He's getting more and more... F he's getting more and more fed as, as the minutes pass by. Just look, I think there is going to be... Conf there is going to be conf conf confrontation right now. But, yeah. Antimage just being a boss and farming in the woods. Uh... That is going to be uh, uh, hard on the top lane, but we do have Lich out here in the forest. Sorry, not Lich. Beastmaster out here, level um, 16, so Alt is level 3. Uh, Necromarkin level 2, and they are going to dive this Nax in a bit of trouble. That is going to be it for Nax, and here he goes. Uh, too fucking good getting a kill. ALC claiming uh, a bit of damage on the Beastmaster, but he doesn't care. Look at that. Necromarkin doing him um, a really nice uh, boost as in uh, intellect as well as... Um, a strength. Uh, and I'm just gonna yes. Yeah, karma. And uh, yeah, so yeah. Sorry, that was my roomie just being a boss. Not my roomie. But somebody was calling me, and uh, I am just gonna speed this up really quickly. Uh, bah, 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 I'm just gonna push. Wicked Six Week actually getting claimed uh, right there. Um, no matter. Uh, here we go. Anti Mage getting uh, just gonna push in the racks. He doesn't care. He does have the Manta, so uh, he is gonna take down the racks pretty fast. And uh, meanwhile, the top is getting uh, ripped as well. So uh, that is gonna be. An, uh, I, well, I would pretty much forfeit it now, but that's just me. Um, and he's gonna take down the Vengeful now. He doesn't know his stun is off, and that is going to be a GG for them, guys. And uh, sorry for my voice being what it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'm going to stop the recording right here now. Uh, so, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and please check out my channel if you haven't already. So, guys.